Ben Affleck is bearing it all like never before. The Oscar-winning actor got honest and vulnerable in a recent interview with the New York Times. Here's the seven biggest bombshells from Ben's tell-all interview. He started drinking a lot more when his marriage was falling apart. Ben's marriage to Jennifer Garner came to an end in 2018 after a long separation. While the exes remained friendly and continued to co-parent their three children together, the actor couldn't help but to reflect on how he started to spiral during the end of their union. Quote, I drank relatively normal for a long time. What happened was I started drinking more and more when my marriage was falling apart, he told the outlet, adding, this was 2015, 2016. My drinking, of course, created more marital problems. Ben admits his divorce from Jennifer Garner is his biggest regret. Quote, the biggest regret of my life is this divorce, he told the publication. Shame is really toxic. There is no positive byproduct of shame. It's just stewing in a toxic, hideous feeling of low self-worth and self-loathing. It took him a long time to admit he was an alcoholic. Quote, it took me a long time to fundamentally, deeply, without a hint of doubt, admit to myself that I am an alcoholic. The next drink will not be different. Ben also admitted to the New York Times that there has been a lot of alcoholism and mental health issues in his family, telling the outlet that he saw his father drunk almost every day growing up. Ben was embarrassed for himself and his kids over his relapse. The actor raised some major concerns about his sobriety when TMZ posted a video of him stumbling to a car in a Halloween costume back in October. Quote, relapse is embarrassing. Obviously, I wish it didn't happen, he said of the incident, adding, quote, I really wish it wasn't on the internet for my kids to see. Jen and I did our best to dress it and be honest. Some of Hollywood's biggest stars helped him with his sobriety. Ben cited Robert Downey Jr and Bradley Cooper as, quote, guys who have been very supportive and to whom I feel great sense of gratitude. Adding, quote, one of the things about recovery that I think people sometimes overlook is the fact that it inculcates certain values. The 47-year-old actor didn't reprise his Batman role over concerns of relapsing. Quote, I showed somebody the Batman script, he told the Times. They said, I think the script is good. I also think you'll drink yourself to death if you go through what you just went through again. Ben announced last year that he'd be giving up the role as the Cape Crusader. The iconic role has now been filled by Robert Pattison. why he told the world his massive back tattoo was fake. Quote, I resented that somebody got a picture of it by spying on me. It felt invasive, he says of his phoenix tattoo that covers his entire back. Adding, quote, but you're right, I could have said, that's none of your business. After not telling the truth about his tattoo and later opened up about his backing during an interview with Ellen DeGeneres in April 2019. This is Phoenix rising from my ass, uh -huh. and uh, I was about to say it represents something really important to me, but yeah. you know what, maybe just... <laughs> no, you can... We'll skip that. You can say uh, that. It does represent no, something no. Yeah, it is. It's meaningful to me. I like it. it I, it's not it's something that I sort of kept private. Ben's candid interview with the New York Times marks the first time the actor has really talked about getting sober since completing his third stint in rehab back in 2018. Ben continues to work on his recovery as he returns to the spotlight in the upcoming sports drama, The Way Back, which mirrors his own experiences.